what is it that speaks to you about these areas? Why, you know, why, why these stories? I think because I grew up in Appalachia and when you feel like a misfit in a small town, there's just something about it that weighs heavier on you. So a lot of the um, stories that I'm drawn to are about outsiders and misfits, and especially in places where you're more expected to toe the line, being different is really frowned upon. Well, I didn't write this script, so this is my first time working off someone else's script. And I just, I planned Ho's story about two elderly guys, you know, sowing their wild oats in Iceland. And it was a really fun movie, but I definitely felt like I wanted to make something very female driven and feminine this time around. And really the script is a, is like an, although these two are the leads, it's a, it's an ensemble of women at different ages, different times in their life, dealing with different things um, in a time and a place where being a woman was especially hard. Like it's not changed too much maybe, but at this time specifically, I think, um, women were a little more repressed and uh, I don't know, just felt right. I love the period. I love the characters and the setting. Mm -hmm. We had to change the order of shooting things and stuff sometimes due to, to wind storms. I know our um, production designer and his team, they were carrying in all this furniture to dress your, your room um, for that set. And uh, the wind came through and broke all of their, all the furniture when they were carrying it. Like it was glass and stuff. I mean, it was just, it felt like we had bad juju sometimes. <laughs> it was really hard. a period film in 21 days is especially hard because I don't think everyone really considers how much time you have to put into like care and makeup and these, talk about your clothes. Like what, what went into your outfits? Well, we Number. wore real bras from the 1960s. Yeah. Oh, the it turns combs. out bullet bras are not comfortable. Those were wild. No, they are not. They oh. like squeeze you and everything. I had like 30 layers of skirt. Like they were just layers on layers on layers. Getting oh in gosh, and out of so cars. Much. I was like dragging a hole. <laughs> yeah. But they were, I mean, I mean, the costuming was insanely cool. Yeah. Like we got great. It was fun. Great I mean, looks yeah. we had talked a little about where Maggie was coming from before you meet her and we kind of agreed that we were coming from more of a city area. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was dressed a little bit differently than some of the other girls, yeah. like pencil skirts, something yeah. a bit more form fitting. Streamlined, a little more of the, the time. Their characters are a little more stuck in the 50s, yeah. you know, just as, as a small town. I mean, when I go home to Eastern Kentucky, everyone <laughs> looks like they're still listening to a lot of Bon Jovi, you know? <laughs> well, in particular, my character is so introverted and anxious that she tends to hide within her clothes. So it would be a lot of big layers and whatnot, which made the whole thing really fun. Oh, is I think when you put everything together and you see yourself, it just, it helps propel you into a character. Yeah. Um, I actually think I did my fitting the same day that I got there and oh. shot that same afternoon. Sounds like us. So the costumer <laughs> had, I mean, it was incredible the job that, that, that they did um, with the costumes. But yeah, definitely. I always think that everything, hair, makeup, mm -hmm. even shoes, as, as a woman, you put on a pair of heels and you feel very different than when you wear flats. <laughs> so it, it definitely makes a difference. And Martha also, like, she um, she was really uh, specific also about, like, which characters were dragging their past with them. Mm -hmm. So and I never really thought about, like, so often when you see a, a 50s movie or a 60s movie or a current movie, I mean, yeah, a contemporary movie that's set in, it's everything is that decade, whereas in reality, um, as we were talking about, like there's thing, there's things that were from the 80s, from the 90s, for, you know, and, and and certain characters hold more of yesterday in their right. now um, than others, and so. But yeah, it was it was it was kind of nice to 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 come at a, a character that way too, which was something that Martha um, encouraged us to think about. Ultimately, it, it, nothing changes with the acting and the and the passion and if anything there's m more of that scene mm -hmm. when you all embark on an indie together because it's the whole reason you're there is for the love of the project um, and then sometimes when you scatter and you get bigger productions intentions are different sometimes um, but I feel like here everyone knows why they're doing this film the reasons why and the reasons why you want to be here but uh, Billions is a lovely I mean I love everyone that I work with some brilliant actors and because it's set in New York we have really great theater actors who pop in who are these brilliant characters so but yeah there's definitely there, it, it's basically just time really and 
a few extra set pieces that we get to have, you know, beautiful penthouses in New York, <laughs> which are a bit more expensive than Oklahoma. <laughs> I, I know, you know, like our financiers were really excited to finance a film directed by a woman. I think people want to help. Um, I was saying earlier that I feel like this is, you know, you come to Sundance and it's great and, and you're, uh, well, you know, loved and included and stuff, but it's still making the jump past making independent film. I think we're still, um, I know that a lot of filmmakers are making that leap and it's, it is happening, um, but not in my friend zone. I haven't, you know, experienced that yet. Yeah, there's still work to do. I just want to get to a place where we um, just don't talk about gender <laughs> that much.